I am so tired for some reason. But it's time to get the day started. Mm. and Pokemon going, but as you can see, <laughs> I wonder if I can get some water Pokemon. <laughs> figured on a rainy day like this what better to do than to go to work it's not playing this is embarrassing oh there it goes another one day what's happening now y'all want to hear something that bangs I'm watching uh, one of my favorite artists that inspires me. If you're hearing other music in the background, that's my wife listening to, what is it, Street Symphony? Bitter, bitter, <laughs> bitter Sweet Symphony, that song. By The Verb. I do this from time to time for inspiration. I listen to artists that I love and who I think are really, truly creative and it kind of inspires me in different ways to keep going, keep creating music, not stopping, just keep going, keep pursuing the dream of uh, making great music to put out for people to listen to, to jam with you and just to kind of rock out. So that's what I like doing. I like looking at different interviews. Anybody who I feel is really creative in their field and just have great knowledge and information about um, being inspired and growing and following your passion and desires and and your dreams. We were, oh. we yeah, and we went to the that's what I'm watching. Knocked on his door. Yep. Wanted to come to you guys today with uh, a different topic, Christian first. Every time I put out like an inspirational quote on my With the Mind Wide Open page, it's usually a hashtag with the mind wide open, but I've been putting a different hashtag up there also, hashtag Christian first. So, you know, what does that mean? What am I talking about? Uh, what it's about is putting your faith above everything else. There's been a lot going on in the media lately, you know, with the shootings of unarmed black men and the, the shootings of cops or police officers. And, uh, things in other countries, you know, terrorist attacks and people getting ran over by trucks and there's all this stuff going on and it's like, how do we cope? What do we do? What action do we take? I know when the uh, Austin Sterling thing happened, I, I was a little frustrated, a little angry, you know, kind of used to think like everybody else, isolated case, this happened, I'm upset, you know, what can we do about it, blah, blah. But this time I was kind of really upset and I think it's because you know, my wife is pregnant. We're about to have a son. And so my son's gonna be black. I'm a black man, my son's gonna be black. So this was something that I was thinking about. Like it, it kind of angered me in a way of, I don't want him to have to grow up in a world where because of the color of his skin, 
he doesn't make it home to me. Or I don't make it home to my family. You know, I'm pulled over and I follow all the instructions. I follow everything the officer is telling me to do and something still happens to me where I don't make it home to my family. And so me and my wife were talking about this and I was kind of like, hey, I, I want to do something. You know, I want to make something happen. You know, what can I do? Can I march? Can I protest? You know, what? And she was like, well, what does God think about it? You know, we should pray. We should, you know, we should think about what is God's will for the situation. And I was kind of like, you know, I'm not trying to hear all that. I want to do what I want to do. And I'm angry and I need action. And so she then showed me this message from a preacher named Dr. Tony Evans. Uh, pretty much it was about putting your faith before everything else, being a Christian first. And it was talking about, you know, when you put stuff before Christ, whether it be race, whether it be your occupation or whatever you're doing, when you put that before being a Christian, then your faith changes around whatever the situation is, around whatever's going on. So if you feel like your blackness needs to take precedence over everything else right now, then everything else includes your faith. That'll change, you know? But when you put your Christianity first, when you put your faith first, when you put God first, everything else changes around that. So your faith never changes, but the way you look at different situations, the way you look at what to do as a black man or a white man, white woman, black woman, Latino man or woman, uh, Middle Eastern man or woman, when you look at those things, your actions will be directly related to your faith, to being a Christian. You know, your Christianity won't change, but the way you look at the situation will, the way you act on the situation will. And so that's what the hashtag Christian first, that's really what I, I've been talking about. And uh, Christians of all race, of all color, of all nationality, to begin to have the mindset of, you know, I'm a Christian first. You know, I, I have to love first. I can't hate police officers. I can't hate uh, black people. I can't stereotype people and think that all white people are racist or all black people are thugs or all, you know, whatever. You have to think with the mindset of Christ and that's to love all people. And so when you put that in perspective and you put Christ at the forefront, you're not so upset and angry that you want to take any action and maybe the wrong action. First of all, you go and you pray first. Nothing's wrong with marching or protesting, but that may not be what God is calling you to do at that moment. So when you take the mindset of, hey, put biblical principles first, God first, faith first, all your other thoughts and your actions and, and everything that you're, you're going to do will go around that. And so that, that's what Christian First is. That's what this topic is about today on, on this vlog. So remember, view everything with the mind wide open. If you're a Christian, remember, put your faith first and love God, love people. And uh, this is Brandon Moore. Thank y'all for viewing. Be blessed. Peace out. I want to see you. Sure, you don't want to run across the keys one more time. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, start the day off with super juice. What is super juice? Super juice is, is what makes grown-ups go. It's called coffee. <laughs>